Hi guys, it's reaction time. We got the Georgia Thunderbolts and rise above it all. I can't go the weekend without my dose of Southern rock. And these guys deliver every time. They really do. Um, it says here, rise above it all is the latest single and there isn't a date for the album yet. Another song came off this album quite a while ago. Um, so there's been a lot of time between songs and it says I think the, the album's going to be out at the end of the year from September to December. I think that's full, isn't it? It says full. <laughs> we don't use that word <laughs> over here in the UK. So I think full is the end of the year. So uh, looking forward to it anyway. Georgia Thunderbolts, one of the brilliant, brilliant southern rock band, really rocking sometimes as well. This is Rise Above It All. Here we go. <laughs> This band are fucking brilliant, man. I love the way you had that sort of distant riff at the beginning, just coming in. I thought, here we go. I could hear it in the background. I thought, it's going to crash in. It's going to crash in. It's going to crash in. And fuck yeah, it did. It crashed in that groove, that soul that the band have. That was brilliant. Love that riff. What a groove to the song. It's almost like a fucking dancey type groove, but quite heavy at the same time. Almost remind me of, and I know I have a dig at this band quite a bit because they've lost, they've lost some of their edge, if you like, but almost had a Blackstone Cherry feel to it, early Blackstone Cherry uh, feel to it. I wish they would get back to that, it, it, you know, that, that feel, that dangerous feel that they used to have a little bit more. They've gone a bit safe for me. Um, then the vocals kicked in and the, along with them, that bluesy, fucking riff then the soulfulness of this guy on his vocals he's just the control i love his vocals man it's beautiful stuff i'll tell you what the production on this is great um listening to some of the drum work on this i mean you can really hear sometimes drums are so drowned out in modern production in this you can just hear everything and and again blackstone cherry going back to blackstone cherry again drums are just almost like gone for me in that band you, it's almost like a tippy tappy sort of in the background it's sort of almost just keeping the tempo of the song they're right up in the mix here you can all hear loads of different stuff he's doing on the hi-hat and really clever drum work and i love that the, the production is just spot on it's very cool and it the way it sort of like goes into that chorus it's, it's got not so much of a southern edge this one they really do hone in on that southern feel sometimes but not so much on this song but you know great great it's got a little bit of southern edge to it but not too much but the way it just goes into that chorus and just leads with that riff and it just soars and it's just great and i fucking love it let's listen to the rest guys brilliant so far Thank you. 
fuck me, yeah, what a rocking song. I love the way they got like two guitars there. You can really hear the two guitars, one in one speaker, one in the other. But you've got one that's sort of almost got that more southern edge to it. It's like got a, a slight less fuzz on the guitar and that's sort of giving a real bluesy feel. And then you've got another guitar in the other headphone that's giving some like metal squeals, like wow, <laughs> heart pinch harmonics and stuff like that. It's amazing. What a fucking song. Man, I love this band. I can't wait for the new album. It's been too long. It's been too long since the debut. The debut is just amazing. You've got to check that out. But um, really looking forward to the new album by Georgia Thunderbolts. They are the bollocks. They really are. Let me know what you think of that. That was Rise Above It All by the Georgia Thunderbolts. In the comments below, please, guys. And I'll see you soon.